Would you like to better integrate your SAS and Hadoop environments? Would you like to extend your SAS environment to utilize Hadoop? SAS has enhanced its in Hadoop capabilities for the third maintenance release of SAS 9.4. Keep watching and learn about the SAS Code Accelerator, which allows SAS thread and data programs to run as MapReduce applications in Hadoop. I'm Stephen Forster, and this is the Technical Insights and Expertise series. In this session, we'll learn about the SAS Code Accelerator for Hadoop. What does the Code Accelerator do? It allows SAS to create and control data processing in Hadoop. What are the benefits of the Code Accelerator? It eliminates the I.O. required to transfer data from Hadoop to SAS and from SAS back to Hadoop. Additionally, it allows SAS to take advantage of Hadoop's massively parallel processing environment. How do you get the Code Accelerator? The SAS Code Accelerator for Hadoop is currently licensed along with SAS Data Loader for Hadoop. SAS communicates with Hadoop via JAR files copied from the Hadoop environment onto the SAS client machine. The SAS code submitted is translated into MapReduce applications by the SAS embedded process, which is installed on each and every Hadoop node. The MapReduce applications are then submitted to Yarn for execution. Now we will use a live environment to demonstrate joining and aggregating data in Hadoop using the SAS Code Accelerator. Here we see our sample program demonstrating the SAS Code Accelerator for Hadoop. This code could be generated by a data loader directive. It could also be code you're prototyping to include in a custom directive. It could also be existing code you're migrating to run in Hadoop. In any case, we're running the code here through Enterprise Guide, which is communicating with our SAS server on Linux, which is communicating in turn with our Cloudera Hadoop cluster. At the top of the program, we see some options defining connection to our Hadoop environment. And then we see a library created to Hive on Hadoop. The code accelerator logic is contained in ProcDS2. ProcDS2 is used by the code accelerator because it is thread capable. This allows us to define a thread which can be distributed and processed in a multi-threaded fashion on each Hadoop data node across the entire Hadoop array, making for massively parallel processing. So here we define a thread called compute. That thread merges two tables included on Hadoop, the Hadoop cars and Hadoop cars one table. We merge those tables by two different fields, type and model. Then we perform some simple field manipulation, here a data correction to show that the code accelerator can add and modify fields and utilize conditional logic. Finally, we perform some aggregation using first dot, last dot logic, just like we would do in data step. It should be noted that while data step requires the data to be sorted to perform this type of by group processing, no sorting is required here. Thread logic is simply executed in parallel against the Hadoop data blocks distributed throughout the Hadoop cluster, and the results are combined using the typical MapReduce paradigm. Now let's run our program and examine the processing that occurs inside Hadoop. The program is finished, and if we click over to the log, we can see that the code accelerator successfully ran inside Hadoop. To examine what happened on the Hadoop side, we can examine the Hadoop job history page, and here we see that Yarn successfully executed a SAS MapReduce job. Clicking into the job, we can see various particulars. Here, clicking into one of the reducer logs, we can see various details like what JAR files were involved in execution, uh, which machine the process ran on, and how many records it processed. I hope you enjoyed this brief demonstration of the SAS Code Accelerator for Hadoop. 
For more information on using the Code Accelerator through SAS Data Loader for Hadoop, see the Data Loader product page linked below. For videos on using the Code Accelerator and other features of SAS Data Loader for Hadoop, see the Data Loader Getting Started videos also linked below. And for specifics on the SAS Code Accelerator itself, see the documentation page linked below. Thank you and check back with your global enablement and learning team for more technical insights.